Hi Aquarius! Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. <clears throat> and message could actually resonate with you, so take it however it resonates with your situation. It's all good by me receiving. <clears throat> Um, everything is down below in the description box. You guys know the drill. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you've just been here and supported the channel. Let's dive in. All right. We have got... Hmm. And her, this card is always so interesting when it pops out. We have refine. <clears throat> We're still in about three retrogrades, if I'm right. Yeah, Mercury, Jupiter, and Uranus. I might be wrong about Jupiter. It's possible. Okay, the very first card that came out, we have transform and the you have integrating. Wow. Okay, for a while, some of you guys could have been aware of maybe some previous fragmentation that could have occurred. It could have been within your own energy. Maybe you picked up on something else, like whatever it was. Right now, it looks like you are integrating. You could be working with your body or with your energy in some particular way. I mean, we have transformed, so it looks like that's just kind of at the forefront here is you are right in the midst of a pretty significant transformation here. Yeah. So, okay. Your certain elements of your life are in the process of going through a transformation. That might feel a little grueling at times, you know? Um, I want to see what pops up for me when I look at this. So please give me a second. Wow. Refine is removing impurities or unwanted elements from a substance, typically as part of an industrial process. And refine is about improvements in general. It's about making small changes. In particular, make an idea, a theory, or a method more subtle and accurate. Well, that looks like your process right now. Like you could be removing unwanted elements because you're like in this process of transforming. Woof. Yeah. Aquarius. This is quite a time. Okay. Let's get some details here. So you're definitely like making something better right now, refining something. Three of Pentacles, we have the Will of Fortune. Okay, there's some teamwork here, some collaboration or support coming in. That's creating a change in the energy. You could be um, lining up with some people. There's a support system, all uh, aligning to accomplish a similar goal. That could be a part of this, removing impurities too. Somehow that's resonant with it. We have the Ace of Pentacles. There could be some new energy coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. It looks tangible. This looks like it's creating some kind of shift or change. We have the Page of Cups. That could be someone that you're interacting with. Let me get the rest of the cards because that seems significant. Some of you guys might deal with either a younger person or like they act younger, even if whatever it's talking about, this Page of Cups person, it might be um, kind of significant. It might help you get started on something because these are a lot of who you connect with. It's bringing up significant things that 
you've been questioning. People are almost like giving you answers or saying things unknowingly. This could be someone that's like a little intuitive. They say something specific and you like pick up on it. Like you take notice of it because it was something that you could have been dealing with or, you know, like maybe trying to resolve or you were just trying to kind of like right remove impurities from your life whatever the look that looks like because you're looking for a transformation to take place or something to happen in your situation which it looks like it's already kind of set here this will of fortune is like there's a pretty significant change that's coming in and i feel like you are now growing roots into something we have the four of wands here you who is this person? You might be connecting with an energy. This person, um, there's something significant about this person's birthday or your birthday. There's something significant about that that might pop up that you, I don't know, might be about their zodiac. But I'm just see seeing that this person will do or say something. This person's on a path. They might be just like thinking they want to go on some path. See the map there? This person that you connect with, I, this also could be you. So there might be an interesting reflection of someone coming into your space and it could be helping you to get clarity about your next plan. Like look at the interaction here. We have the page of pentacles. Yeah, I am going to say that to you. And then we have the six of cups. Okay, this is going to be super fascinating. It's like the freaking universe lined this all right up. And it's like, the, this Four of Wands is almost like a union here with a particular energy. Both of you um, might feel some commonalities. So that's what's kind of fascinating because something about your energy seems kind of like new to something and someone else is similar-ish. The two things that you will share in common. I don't know if you guys share like the Zodiac thing. Um, so this might be a person here that activates some kind of memories. Or do you think back to your past? Or it might feel like a bit of a soulmate person that you connect with. And it might make you think back to some kind of memories. Someone might feel something significant also around you. Like they talk to you and you say something and they don't. And they're like, whoa. Like you said something not thinking that it would be a big deal. But you said something and now this person is like thinking a lot about something. Yeah, you know, there's like a lot of interesting connections going on in the mind between you and a particular person. So there is a lot of encouragement here to put yourself in new situations, especially if you're feeling a draw to them or you're like down this path, right? You're trying to remove these impurities. You're trying to like transform and make a significant shift in your energy because you could be realizing other energies are like a sponge. You know what I mean? Like there, you could be realizing like shiz, I almost like gotta get myself on track here and make this huge shift over here maybe get committed to something or maybe activate this new thing here once you get it there's this whole kind of trajectory that could play out because there's someone interesting here that i think that you could have some kind of union with it was like and it will the memories that pop up or whatever it reminds you of in the past there, there's just like something significant to it about you either providing something for someone or them providing something from you. Like, even if this is like a younger person, sometimes those type of people are what show you the direction to go in, you know? So it doesn't even matter the age. Don't get deceived by thinking that someone doesn't have something significant or some kind of wisdom about them because of the way they look or um, because someone might say something that you're like, whoa, it'll be one of those moments. It could be something about giving and receiving. That could be the thing that activates this whole process. You might also, I don't know if you're giving something to someone, someone's receiving something from you or vice versa. 
but there's just something here about um, this is energetically opening you up in some very profound way. It's like leading you down a path to something specific. I know that's very vague, but I'm just saying it how it is. Let me see. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull... scintillation see what I said scintillation is like energies that light up and paying attention to them and you could be noticing patterns it's like there's a thing that's lighting up and you might also get a confirmation from someone else in your environment that also shows you something that you were taking notice of <clears throat> It will also remind you of something that you had heard in the past and you could have either not had the means for something or um, you wrote something off. You could have gone down a particular path, but this will make you think back to like, oh, like I saw this before and now the patterns are coming back in and they're lighting up in a very specific way like the universe and trajectories are really weird like that because like your path is definitely not linear sometimes it will like reactivate things that you weren't able to do before or like maybe the timing was off or I don't know maybe there were certain things about lessons you learned or um whatever it was now it's coming back in and you, you really should pay attention to the things. This is all going to, it's all from exactly what I said. When you go into this environment and when you're interacting with these new, all of this is new, but it's going to remind you of the past. It's possible you'll interact with someone from the past. I mean, we're in the retrograde, so the past will probably be coming back anyway, but there's a memory here. There's a memory here that you forgot. It kind of, or you, it was an experience that you had. Someone said something specific. You were going down a path. You could have got sidetracked or distracted. And now you've been kind of like in this whole process of removing these impurities from your life. Something could significantly take off here. Now that you're in a particular time in your life things have situated the way that they have and now you can really like take action on this thing that's lighting up and so pay attention to those things because they're actually helping you to get integrated and helping you to transform in the way that you've been de desiring apparently and there's the photon card see super positive movement be conscious of energies that you're picking up on Lots of cleansing stuff. Okay. Anyway, let me dive into the extended Aquarius. If you want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below. Click on the Vimeo link. See you over there. But Aquarius, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in your next reading. Take care.